Alright, what's up my single chats? How are we all doing? Because everybody's going off right now, man. The Call of Duty scene is crazy right now. We are under emo blame truth era. And guys, it finally happened. It finally happened. Today, we're going to be checking out the homie Blame Truth video. Real quick, I got a trivia question for everybody. Because Blame Truth said that he's going to give you $100 for free. For free. And you do not have to wear this helmet. You just got to tell us the name of the helmet. And Blame Truth said he will give you $100. What's the name of this helmet? Like this video. Subscribe if you're brand new. And guys, you're not Blame ready Truth for this Blame Truth here, one. the Codfather himself, bringing yeah. you another video. <laughs> So I'm gonna get very loud this video, and I'm gonna get very angry. Yeah! Um, we love it when you get loud, brother. And and rightfully so, you'll see why in just a second. Okay. But I look back at my past several videos, and I realize that I've just been way too positive. I don't want to give people the wrong impression. No matter whether I'm positive or negative, somebody's gonna like whine in the comments or whatever. Wah, you like DBD? Wah, you like Black true, Ops 4? Like, I literally have people, true. you know, hating on me for liking and stuff. <laughs> Trust me, it goes <coughs> both ways. At the end of the day, as a YouTuber, you just gotta not give a single just facts, stop, facts, just facts. stop caring, and say what you want to say, and that's yeah. what I'm doing here. Like it's not a seventy dollar DLC; it's a seventy dollars patch. You know, here we go, boys. Boom. I am not like I'm not saying MW3 is gonna be good. I, I understand <laughs> that the Stockholm syndrome. But you literally said that a couple of days ago, my G. But here's the thing, right, guys? From what I've seen so far. Modern Warfare 3 gameplay does look pretty odd though, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, I mean, that mean damn, right? I mean, damn, but the campaign is like three hours. That's such a slap on the fan space, bruh. Three hours long, bro, for $70. I mean, Bumble Bumble Club, Club. Club. My understanding that I've been fed garbage for the past four years. So, yeah, this uh. is going to be better just for, you know, the fact that they went back to basics. Wrong. It's going to seem better, I should say. It's not going to be better, but yeah, I digress. Okay. Modern Warfare 3, it, you know, people paid a hundred dollars for this game. In some cases, they did at least. Got now, honestly, in Canada, it's a hundred plus. Let me know what country you're in and share that story of yours, brothers. And um, they can't play the campaign, apparently. I had to find this information out secondhand because I'll be honest with you guys, I don't give a single about Call of Duty campaign. Call of Duty. I used to back in the days, but listen, man, like, why would anybody give a shiz about the campaign now? Because they, they have been sucking ass. They have been sucking ass. $70 for 30, for three hours. Three hours. Arguably, Call of Duty 4 has the best campaign. Like, I would say, yeah, Call of Duty 4 was actually very good. Modern Warfare 2 original was very good. Black Ops 1, amazing, though. Chef Kiss, though. Black Ops 1 amazing man what's happening to this company bro that the campaign was the last good ones the last good one i've even seen some of you seconds saying that skizzle i'm gonna buy it for the campaign i only care for the campaign it's three hours long and it's it ain't even that good though you know the homie mr waffle waffles gave it two out of ten guys two out of ten Bomb uh, what well I, 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 what you gotta say now bruh what's I'm your rating by the way? what what more do you need Seriously, what more could you possibly ask for? Some androgynous character and, and Captain Price with a wraparound mustache? You know, delivering bad lines and with plot holes and stuff like that. <laughs> Apparently this campaign's garbage as well. Modern Warzone said it's mid. Yeah, sadly. And you guys know, right? Like Modern Warzone, if he says 5.5... Bro, this is like the equivalent of IGN giving a game 5 out of 10 and you know it's not worth buying. If IGN and Modern Warzone gives a game, if these paid shills People that get invited off, flown out there, and their ass is put in a nice, nice hotel, and they get early access to the game, and all year long, all they say is that, buy the bundles, buy the bundles, we love buying the bundles, and nothing is wrong with the game, when everything is wrong with the game, right? If these people, if these suckers are gonna say the game is 5.5 out of 10, bro, I mean, damn, you do not need any more red flag than that, bro. You do not need any more thing than that, because if, it's, if they give 5.5, I mean, you know, the game is not playable. You know, the game is not fun. The game is disappointing. The, the game should not be bought. But if they give 7 out of 10, then realistically, that's like a 5 out of 10, though. 5, that's average, though. That's neither good, neither bad. That's why it's average. That's why it's right in the middle. But nowadays, I guess, give it 5 out of 10. So I guess, give it 7 out of 10. I've even seen some suckers say that the game is disappointing. And they give a game, guess what? 7 out of 10, guys. 7 out of 10. Calling it disappointed. If you give a game 7 out of 10, that means the game is amazing, okay? The game is amazing. If you give a game 10 out of 10, that means it's a masterpiece and nothing needs to be changed. 
but nowadays gamers are getting their brains completely washed i'm not sure what's happening if you guys did not know or if you did not guess correctly well the name is the the name of this helmet is a retard helmet guys it's a retard helmet. Blame Truth has been promoting that for a while. I, maybe this is why. Maybe we gotta blame Blame Truth for the, that. Maybe suckers are wearing these these helmets and that's why their brains are fried. And you know, they are like, every game is a 7 out of 10. Disappointed, but game is 7 out of 10. You know what? Game is good, but 10 out of 10. And, and then they are like, okay, well, this needed to be changed. Hey, that needed to be changed, bro. If you give a game 10 out of 10, you're saying the game is a masterpiece, bruh. Nothing needs to be changed, bruh. And honestly, Modern Warzone tends to overhype stuff. So when he says it's mid, it's probably like a 2 out of 10, actually. Yeah, uh, facts, facts, and, uh, facts. Regardless, facts. people paid a lot of money. People pre-ordered this game. They want to play the campaign early access. That's yeah. what was advertised to them. And they Facts. can't. But not only can they cannot, I think that's proper English grammar, not only can they cannot play, that <laughs> sounds strange, but uh, something happened with Modern Warfare 2. I, I don't know how they continue to mess this up. Who is in charge? This is like the most basic thing, and they have so much time that the game is done for them. They, they pieced it together like... Maybe you need to jo uh, suplex Joe Seacott. Maybe Joe Seacott is in charge once again, my brother. Frankenstein's monster. They, they didn't really have to do very much with Modern Warfare 3. Am I lying? Can you tell me when I'm telling a lie? Please. <laughs> Not much real- Uh, I mean, when you promote these retard helmets, you definitely are lying, my friend! We had to be done. They went in and they, they released a $70 patch as a full game. Yeah. They're not doing very much. So what is Man. the excuse here? But, but maybe it's not Sledgehammer. Maybe it's Activision. It probably is Activision. At, at the I, end I would say both. I would say both. Let's be real, man. How many times are you going to blame Activision? The only thing here is this, right, guys? Emergency meeting immediately, right? Because some suckers, and this is coming from the Xbox. Right? I mean, listen. I mean, damn, guys. Sony Pony's Xbox don't matter we gotta get out of this phase okay but hear me out okay before you're like shiny pony xbox before you're like B because i've seen so many xbox not xbox fans xbox fans playstation fans different it's okay to be a fan but sony ponies but in this case xbox are saying that sony ponies are hating on modern warfare 3 bro just go back even before xbox purchased microsoft so i guess we're hating not hating for the sake of hating the game but criticizing the game legitimately because the game is going downhill though right now what i'm saying here is that the next year game if you're somebody if you're an xbox fanboy right and you're saying that sony ponies are hating because you know microsoft bought xbox uh, or microsoft bought activision i mean damn it's not that everybody with a brain knows that they recently acquired it so this modern warfare 3 if it's good or bad the credit or the discredit or whatever you know the failure stamp doesn't go on top of phil spencer head it's not his problem it's not him if the game is good or bad at least for modern warfare 3 next year's game if that's good yeah maybe you can give credit to phil spencer if the game is bad yeah maybe you can you know put that failure stamp on top of his forehead and say you you made the game the worst it can be next year in two years from now absolutely but not this year xbox come on man like it's we're not hitting on xbox we're just simply talking about the game three hours camping guys and they promise that your data from modern warfare 2 will transfer over to modern warfare 3 which i think eventually it will be uh okay you know what we're gonna give them a pass with that we, we suckers give them pass every single year bruh why not this year again you know why not one more time maybe one more time okay one more time <laughs> what's the what's the harm in that right i mean we are just toxic gamers right we're gonna complain we're gonna shut up we're gonna buy again i mean what what whatever right okay fair right in a month from now maybe two weeks from now they're gonna fix it fair but you cannot fix unimpressive three hours short campaign for modern warfare 3 uninspiring story other than uh macro macro uh, performance was uh really really good i've seen it by myself so credit where it's due but other than that i mean damn you know end of the day it's mo oh, mostly dang. activision and yes the devs are somewhat responsible but let's be real here right so people are saying they can't play the campaign they're saying that the call of duty hq <laughs> wants them to pre-order mw3 again so there's that but on top of that they somehow managed to royally and i mean royally screw up Modern Warfare <laughs> Roman numeral 2. 
I, I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming back Marble in the day when they released that Vanguard Warzone integration up. Wrong Vanguard bitch. Day and they broke like three different games. I don't think any other Call of Duty has been affected by this, but they completely messed up MW2. Most people's ranks have been reset, but on top of that, if you are stupid enough, and I mean stupid enough, to buy the Battle Pass, that's been reset as well. Will it be fixed? Honest to God, I I, I don't know. I my guy says that hi. I'm relatively new here. And you have been playing Modern Warfare 2 for a while now? I was around level 180. Today I logged in, logged in after about a week of not playing and everything was back at zero. My level was zero. My battle pass was zero percent. It was 50% before and all the other stuff on haunting was back at zero too. My bot skins were gone too. Bumbleclad boys. Okay, that is genuinely sad though. I mean, damn, like imagine Sucker actually actually bought five skins. If he bought five skins, that's a hundred dollars, bro. That's a hundred. If I tell that to my parents that you can buy five pixels in a game for a hundred dollars, I would have been homeless. I would have been homeless. I wouldn't even be making videos here. In Urdu, I like to say because I cannot say this in English. अरे कुत्ते दे बच्चे तुसी तारा बेड़ा तड़क जाए पहन चो यार पागल बना रहे हो सारों को तनु शर्म नहीं आंधी कुत्ते दे बच्चे हो कुछ तो शर्म कर लो कुत्ते दे पहन चो साले यार I don't trust this company maybe they can do a fix but this just it's so much gross incompetence I have to think they're just hiring a bunch of like people that meet diversity quotas and yeah, aren't fact, actually this is exactly what I was saying in the last video too though. talented that's the only explanation I can think of have you have you looked around at media in general? We'll go back to MW2 in a second, but have you looked around at media in general? Media, movies, television shows, whatever. Have you noticed that things are either god-awful or they're great? And there's really no in-between. The yeah. god-awful stuff is so devoid of passion, so devoid of heart and soul, that it's clear as day like what's made to be good and what's made to, to pander. This feels like some sort of just... They went overboard on the pandering and hiring people that just aren't qualified to yep. do the job. Sometimes you have to call a spade a spade. I don't think the majority of people working at these dev studios, Activision, whatever, are talented individuals. Maybe they are talented. Maybe they're talented in, in baking cakes or swinging on a swing. Or maybe they're talented... Listen, everybody's talented in some way, but they, these things surely are not talented in making games, though. That, that I mean, that's a bona fide fact. I, I mean, you compare... Today's Call of Duty with previous Call of Duty. I mean, I don't even have to go that 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 long, uh, that far back. Uh, you know, even Modern Warfare 19. I know some of you seconds don't like it. Some of you love it. Some of you hate it. Some of you are like in the middle with the game. Initially, I hate it because of skill based matching. But besides, minus skill based matching and, and the camping a campy aspect of Modern Warfare 19. I mean, Modern Warfare 19 was a, a different and a solid game though with new content. You feel what I'm saying? We don't even have to go that back, that far back. Just look at Modern Warfare 19 uh, and you compare that with Modern Warfare 20. I mean, Modern Warfare 2022 looking miles better than Modern Warfare 3, which is absolutely sad for me to say. The only reason maybe you are saying Modern Warfare 3 is good. Yeah, gameplay, I would I would have to agree that Modern Warfare 3's gameplay pace is better than Modern Warfare 2. That I have to agree. Even from watching it, from looking at it, it just feels miles better than Modern Warfare 2020. I mean, damn, credit where it's due. Absolutely, I'm not doing a discredit them, but... You know, Modern Warfare 2022 in terms of content was miles better than this year's Call of Duty game, which is absolutely sad. Every single year game, every single year, the standards are going down. They're plummeting. The content is plummeting, man. On, on not, you know, wearing shoes to the bank and hurting their foot. I don't know their actual individual talent. But I just know that maybe they shouldn't be in games. Maybe they shouldn't be in the gaming industry. Because whatever Call of Duty has given us for the past two to three years is inexcusable. I've already kind of noticed just with my finger in the air, kind of just checking the breeze, that the hype for Modern Warfare 3 just really it's isn't low. there. It's, it, it's just not. It's it's nowhere near the level that Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 was. Yeah. I think it's a little yeah, more hype than Vanguard, but it's not even really on the same level as Cold War because at least Cold War has a functioning zombie. Black Ops, Black Ops Cold War hype was absolutely strong though. It was really, really strong. I remember it's high marketing campaign y'all remember that pawn versus pawn or something like that uh they, they did okay they, they did like a week-long website in the beginning very hype then it got still and then towards the end it was very much hype once again and the leaks that were coming out for black ops cold war i would say my most hyped call of duty game was black ops cold war the last one right before that i would say was black ops 3 before that i would say like mm, uh even Modern Warfare 19 before the game uh, was out, uh, and, and even Black Ops 3, then Black Ops 2, right? 
You feel what I'm saying? But Black Ops Cold War was the last most hype Call of Duty game. Maybe next year's Call of Duty game is gonna be hype as well because we know it's gonna be Treyarch and maybe the content is gonna be good. At least a brother can hope, a Call of Duty fan can only hope. But man, it is it is truly sad as to how much they are killing this franchise, bruh. It, it wasn't just murder, it was buried alive as one YouTuber said. I forgot his name though. If you know, let me know in comments, bro. So, so far, not only have they managed to botch the release of the campaign. Look at this Billy play, by the way. Look at this. Beautiful. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Myself a golf clap for that. It's amazing oh, wow. play. Yeah, give yourself end. a ribbon. But not bro. only have they messed up the campaign release, the early access, which is something that, to my knowledge, they haven't messed up before, but there's a first time for everything with these doofuses. But we know that skill based matchmaking is turned up to 11 from what we facts, played in the facts. beta. So we can already kind of guess that multiplayer, probably going to have a lot of issues just based on that. 100%, campaign, 100%. mid, sucks, get it out of here. Nobody really cares, right? So uh, a lot of people do care though, but they are the ones making us not care, which is which is sad though, because I do care for the campaign. I do agree that uh, I will personally not buy Call of Duty for the campaign, but that does not mean that I don't care though. Hand on top of this bottle of water, or hang, and also hang on top of this Bottle of mosquito spray right now, okay? Bruh. I do care for the campaign as a brown man. I do care for the campaign, but as a brown man, I would never buy Call of Duty for the campaign. I would rather watch it on YouTube for free, and that's what I like to do. For the multiplayer and zombie, yo, hell yeah, I would buy, but this year I'm skipping it because damn, skill based man swinging, and it's gonna be bundles warfare 3, guys. You don't believe me? Just wait a little bit, okay? Wait a little bit. But if somehow I turn it turns out to be that I am wrong, wrong. I will buy the game. Deadass though. Two months after launch, if the game is good, if there's hype, if suckers are loving it, if they do not dig their player base down, I will get the game. Oh, now we have zombies mode to carry us, basically. And you know, zombies mode was like the one good thing in Cold War for me. It really was. It was the one good thing. In fact, Cold War Zombies is like the only good thing that I could say about any Call of Duty release since Modern Warfare 2019. And don't Damn. give me that Modern Warfare 2019 was good. I wish I could go back to that mess because no, that game was absolute cancer. Some of the worst <laughs> maps. No, 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 not even some. No, I, honestly though, looking back, um, it, it was odd compared to whatever the crap, whatever crap we are getting, whatever low effort games we're getting. But at the time when Modern Warfare 19 came on, because of skill based matchmaking and the campy nature, the, the gameplay was just not hidden. The quality, the graphics, and at the time, the engine felt new. The campaign was amazing too. There were a lot of good things about Modern Warfare 19, but just like smaller stuff like skill based matchmaking, and obviously, skill based matchmaking is not a small stuff, but the campy nature of the game, they, they definitely did uh, the gameplay and the hardcore fans dirty. That I have to agree though. The worst maps, the worst maps, and more doors than a Home Depot! No, it's sucked too. No, slow campy gameplay. It started this whole crap we got in Model Warfare 2. Like, Model Warfare 2 was just doubling down on the bad design decisions of Model Warfare 2019. Yeah. And then also doing things worse. They, they dumbed down the gunsmith. Like, ah, I could rant all day. I could rant all day. Cold War Zombies was the only thing. Nah, man, wrong. wrong. You cannot rant all day. You can rant every, uh, decades, every decade, bro. Decades long, bro. Thing, like, keeping me going all for decade free. long. If you go back and look at my time played on, on uh, Cold War, you'll see that it's way more zombies. Way more zombies than multiplayer, you know? So... We, we pretty much have to put our hope into zombies, and I, I, I have no hope. I really don't. The multiplayer will probably be good for like a month. Like, honestly, yeah, it'll probably yeah, be good yeah. for a month. People will get sick of it. Because once the nostalgia runs out, then Sega's gonna be like, what, 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 what is this trash? I don't wanna play no more. And, but, but here's the thing though, okay? This is the only positive I have so far, which is, because we're talking about Sledgehammer games. If it was Infinity War, then forget about it. Never happening. Never gonna happen, okay? Never never happened, never will, never gonna, okay? But because it's Sledgehammer Games, I but I do believe that we are gonna get content faster than Modern Warfare 2022 and faster than Infinity Tar devs. I that I do believe. That because I feel like that the game is gonna run dry after a month and Sega's gonna be mad, Sega's gonna be disappointed, no, Sega's already disappointed, but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like it's gonna feel a little dry, but I think that Sledgehammer games, I could surely be wrong though, so do not buy the game based on this opinion alone. But I do feel like that Sledgehammer games is gonna update the game a lot more frequently. Let's hope though, that's at but least Because the, it's just, it's a patch, dude. It's a patch and it's rehashing old MW2 maps. They should have released this as Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. In fact, I would argue they shouldn't have released Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 at all. I would argue that what they're releasing now should have been Modern Warfare 2 last year, straight up.
Facts, and then facts. throughout the year, give us... But tell that to Bobby Kotick. He loves money. He loves taking all of our monies. Tell that to him and investors, bro. But I do agree, though. It, Brad, Brad, this should have been a $30 DLC, bro. It would be the most hype Call of Duty time ever. Because Suckers would be like, really? We are getting DLC? Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. I'm shaking. Suckers would be shaking. Suckers would have been doing helicopters for $30. You're getting a DLC expansion that's going to continue. The Modern Warfare 2022 story... Hell yeah, but because it's a brand new game, right? Because they're charging $70 uh, and the campaign being th uh, three hours only for $70. Guys, it's not that the campaign is three hours that people are disappointed. It's that the game is called brand new, $70, still recycled content, and on top, campaign being new, but it's three hours long. That's the biggest issue, but guys, click on this video on the screen. This is one of the biggest brand moment ever. Activision don't want you to see it. Check it out and I'll see you.